Get. What's up, y'all? Um, we get a lot of uh, requests to show how we do the back of our coasters. Uh, this is one that's already been done. Well, it was part of our super sale. Super sale. So obviously, if we still have this, still for super it's sale. It's for sale, and it's kind of amazing. It looks um, like an acrylic pour. It does, but this is how that's done there. It's just painted. Um, this one is still available as well. <laughs> We're trying to sell. I know, like this is not a sell right, video. So what you do, just take the back, place it on some wax paper. Make sure you have windows open and ventilation and a face mask. Get your spray paint, kind of spray it before you spray it off to the side so you know it's working. Just kind of hit it in a couple different spots. Not too much. Get you some purple. We basically just do whatever colors match the front side. Yeah. Get you some gold. That's going to blow out everything. It's going to cover it all. Yeah. So you want to just barely go from the side, maybe up to the top. Because if you go from the side, it's going to go underneath the coaster and get on the coaster. So make sure your angle is from, from the, top the top. And just come down right over the top, maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more green off to the side. Make sure when you do this not to oversaturate your coaster with spray paint because there then it go. won't set regular. Give you a little heat. Depending on the type of spray paint you use, the heat gun should dry it pretty quick. If not, just leave it in your window seal or just leave it where it's at. And since I'm not sure if that's dry or not, we have a little stamp, the ATD stamp. We just made it from like, you know at Michael's at the checkout, they have those little stampy stamps. So get rid of the excess, whatever is on there before. Give you some fresh ink. Bada beam, bada boom. ATD. Now, a lot of people ask us about whether it's like sealed in for freshness, freshness and other words. Um, I'm not going to paint this right now because it's still got to dry, but we use polycrylic to seal our wood substrates in as well as things like this. That way it um, liquid fast, I guess. Moisture now, you can has. do it before. Um, these coasters are meant to have like condensation on condensation them. on them, even before they're painted. They they uh, they come just like this. These are from Inkfish. I have the link. Mm. These are from Inkfish. I have the link for all of these products in our Amazon description box below. It's like eleven ninety something for a hundred, maybe fourteen. Can't remember. And they're super durable for um, compressed like cardboard paper. Yeah, they're awesome. And we've never had any issues with them. They don't warp. You they're, can tear them. You can definitely tear them. So. They're not indestructible, but ultimately right. our coasters are functional pieces of artwork. Yes. This is what we do with our leftover resin after we work on a piece. So there you go. That's how we finish a coaster. Oh, what if there's drips on the back? We always put our um, coasters and our paintings on wax paper Yes. because... For one, it's level, and two, you won't get the drip down like the little... It would be really difficult to sand these yes. paper coasters without causing some kind of damage to the back of them. And the good thing about these coasters is it's such a, a hard edge right here that the resin does not want to go over the edge. So if you put it on a completely flat level area, you should be fine. If you have spillover, just cut it with an X-Acto blade. Please yes. use parental supervision and safety things when yes. using an X-Acto blade or a heat gun or you know life. Anyways, we got to get back to the beach. We will see you all again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.